Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. I don't know what's gonna happen next time. I can't promise that. Well, try. For me. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? <sighs> Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I'm not worried. You're super, Mom. <laughs> You'll be okay. Hmm. I guess that makes you Super Peter. Mom, Star-Lord. That's my superhero name. Sorry, Star-Lord. I'd better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. <laughs> no dice, Mom. You gotta love me for who I am. <laughs> oh, I do. Sometimes against my better judgment. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? She's fine. Well, glad to hear it. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls! Hey, how's that lip doing? Give me that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Come on. Let's not do this, man. Do what? We're just talking. You gonna cry now? Huh? Uh. Uh-oh. Hey! Hey, stop! <laughs> 
I didn't mean what I said. I, I, I'm sorry. Peter! Please, please, stop! What did you do? Peter, answer me. He was saying mean stuff about you, about our family. I did this for you, Mom. I don't care what he said. Those are just words. And this is the last thing I ever would have wanted. Are you okay? I think he might have broken my jaw. We talked about this, Peter. I asked you to try not to fight. Look at this. <coughs> Look at this poor boy. <coughs> Mom! Uh. <coughs> oh, God. I'll call an ambulance. So close, Peter. <sighs> what the? How did I get home? saw my mom again. She said I'm close. This temple is really messing with my head. <laughs> Hello, Gamora. Ah! Whoa! Hey, Gamora! Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. Back off, Gamora. Seriously. Stop it! Ah! Come on, this isn't fair! I don't have a sword! To be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. I know you think you want this, but once you've taken a life, there's no going back. Thanos will make you kill. Again, and again, and pretty soon that's all you'll be. A murderer. At least I'd be something. <laughs> Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. A little impressive. <laughs> Just a little? I can't... Gamora, you're hurting me! <sighs> Father... Nebula, you have grown so much. Father, 
You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> Well, she does have the best teacher. I wouldn't expect anything less. And yet Nebula is the one who disarmed you. Perhaps the teacher might learn from the student. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora. You will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora. You were always my favorite. But you have become cold, distant. We will not disappoint you, Father. But you already have, Gamora. Otherwise, you would not be taking Nebula with you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care. But if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... <sighs> Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? This is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Good luck, Nebula. I don't need luck. You train me for this. I won't let you or Father down. Let's just do this. Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! 
father will be so upset with me. You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But father... Thanos can complain about who did what all he wants. I don't care. Father... Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine, here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me. Well, that's <clears throat> not the way to do it. Well, apparently <gasps> it was. <clears throat> Stop. Stop slapping me. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. Uncle, uncle. <clears throat> Don't do that again. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh... I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I've been trying not to think of that day. Because I really want to fix things with Nebula. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish, taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. Sure. Maybe it was a mistake to step in like you did. But you can't just keep beating yourself up forever over it. No. <laughs> I have Nebula to do that for me. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy. Despite Thanos. Despite everything. We had each other. Maybe... Maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Gamora. She didn't want your help. She wanted to prove herself on her own, even if it meant hurting you. I know, but... Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. I'm worried about you. You keep thinking stuff like this, it's gonna drive you crazy. And we've already got enough crazy on this team. This is true. Thanks, Peter. Now, come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... ...weird. Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop.
Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside. Yeah, well, if anything goes wrong, you'll be here to protect me, right? You're not saying anything, and it's super worrying. Gamora, seriously? this place? Yeah. This is where my mom lived. This is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Thanks for, uh, for understanding. She's your family. Your real family. I know how much she means to you. looked so, so painful. Are you okay? Yes. Now that you are here. Not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... You came for me. After all these... Ooh, what are these? They are very shiny. Hey, over here. Ah, <sighs> Peter Quill. really here. It's been centuries. No, millennia. How do you know who I am? We have met. But I was not me. I am called Mantis. reflexes. Let me try that again. May I borrow that? Mm. You're gone. It will only be for a moment. Uh, yeah, sure. What? I have another one.
Thank you. Uh, you're welcome? It is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Though perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. Why were you locked in here? So that you could find me. Not very helpful. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One. That you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could. Through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Oh no. That is not what I wanted at all. I am so sorry. I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. How? Your mind is clouded with so many emotions, so you seek answers. But those answers will not help you. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure! Oh, this isn't going to go well. Oh! Uh, what emotion was that? I... do not believe I should say out loud. Sexual. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> who should we try on first? I got just the one. Uh, something's supposed to be happening here? This furry little creature is unfathomably sad. Hey! Now he's scared and angry. Hey, cut it out! What is this, Quill? What's the bug lady doing to me? Mantis is an empath, Rocket. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho Hala for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. Long ago. Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. Well, I, for one, wanna hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Peter Quill. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But 
such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving and uh -huh. to help guide the mm -hmm. wielder down the right path. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. Okay, okay, all right, just stop. I've... I've heard enough. I am Groot. Ugh. Groot says he wanted to hear more. I'm sure you all know my feelings on the matter. Then, I suppose the most important part, there is a legend of the Celestial One, the Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One, what are they like? Advanced intellect, emotionally mature, Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires to choose for the greater good. That's... <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> it is not fine. Peter is the Celestial One. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is... limited right now can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. <sighs> I am Groot. You said right now. Now does that mean that things might be different later? Yes. You can change everything. How? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined. Why would I destroy the forge? This thing sounds awesome. <coughs> Hala. <clears throat> it's awesomeness comes with a price. Life energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So... It is a tie, then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. Well, right now, I'm... I'm thinking we destroy it. Ola can't get her hands on this again. If she does, we're gonna all be speaking Cree. Or dead. <laughs> well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. You have extraordinarily soft hands. <laughs> like... Wow. <laughs> was there moisturizer built into that tomb thingy? There was not. <laughs> really? Huh. Well, I guess it's because, uh... Please, stop talking. Okay. Yep, not talking. 
I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Calm down. Drax, how are you doing? I am distraught. The Forge can bring my family back, yet you consider destroying it. Well, I... You are our leader, and it is your decision. So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not trust me to guard Nebula. Well, that... And you did not behave in a trustworthy manner just now. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Rocket was clearly angered by what that woman said about his emotions. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. I just wanted to get to know everyone better. We're all so secretive. We should, we should open up more. Secrets should be shared willingly, not stolen. Whoa. That was, uh... That was really deep, Drax. Her ability to see into our emotions. It must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Hey, bud. What's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision. What? Are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back... someone they love. I am Groot. I'm not gonna kill someone to use this thing. End of story. You already did! We killed Thanos, remember? And it saved you! you know, come to think of it, I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. This should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. You don't mean that, Rocket. Now you're telling me what I don't mean. Man, the ego on you. I meant every damn word. I am Groot. Have a nice night. Well, that's one way to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while... Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know, I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her but maybe maybe if we had more time i could try talking to her again when she's calmed down give her some space without losing her altogether well they say time heals all wounds who's they 
I have no idea. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Just... maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Um, hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? Ah! That's for forcing me to give you the cipher. And that's for not letting me fight the Kree. Well, at least your arm's okay. <laughs> I guess. Yes, it's not bad. Dogamora would say the same. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. She says that you won't talk to her. She's really broken up about how you two fell apart. <laughs> well, that's pretty much all thanks to her. I bet she forgot to mention how she ruined our family. How she destroyed my life. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? <laughs> well, for one... You've got a pretty screwed up definition of family. Two sisters being forced to fight each other and kill people, that doesn't sound like a family to me. It was to me. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Is everything all right? What's going on? Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. But... I cheated, Father. I didn't win on my own merit. That was not cheating. Gamora made a mistake. You took advantage of that mistake. Something any skilled warrior would do. There is something you must know about Gamora. She said she would not disappoint me. But I am not so sure. Every day, she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to her family. I know she's been difficult, but Gamora won't fail you, Father. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. 
Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. It would be an honor, Father. We shall see how things go on Phalion. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But Father- Thanos can complain about who did what all he wants. I don't care. Nebula. to gain the honor you desire. Kill Gamora. <gasps> if you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine, here. We're going to be okay. Just getting to the part where she, um, you know, what? The part where she kills you? I was trying to show him what really happened with Tarval, but of course you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I. I didn't know what was going on. And as usual, you didn't bother to find out until you'd ruined it. Oh, yeah. Because if I'd known you were watching yourself kill me again, I would have been fine with that. Hey. She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own gut. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin Gamora, you are. I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. Instead? I ended up suffering. I saved your life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing If me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse, just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did! I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm... 
pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. It's possible. I don't know what to believe. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. That family ended a long time ago. Uh, I'm the one who got stabbed here. Oh, as usual, it's about you. Uh Nebula, look, I don't know you, like, super well, even though I've seen, well, more than I'd like to of your life. But, man, you obviously cared about Gamora. And I think you still do, so... Please, sister, give me a chance. All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay, let's go. Well, if it isn't my favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> well, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Quill. Thank you for talking to Nebula. It means a lot to have her here. It gives me hope. Uh, what are you... What? Oh, is that a dagger? Is it... What, you got a throwing star? There? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. You're a good friend, Peter. Uh, hey, Pete. Uh, I threw some mean words your way back there, and I, uh... I just... I wanted to apologize. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Just, uh, I got worked up, you know? Hey, don't even worry about it, man. Best friends forever? Yeah, at least until death. It's close enough. Also, such sadness. <gasps> you are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, what's the matter? Why, Why are you crying? Why am I crying? Oh, God. The little box brings you so much sorrow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back onto others. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings, overly focused on the past. Not living here, in the now. Experiencing all the wonderful things around you. Well, it's hard to let go of the past. It makes you who you are. I can see that, but I don't want to be defined by what came before. Everyone should be able to correct the course they're on. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better and worse at the same time. I loved it. Hey, Mantis. 
Can you direct me to that magic shrine thing now? Of course! But it is a long way, and I must concentrate completely. There can be no... There can be no distraction... I didn't know it would do that! <laughs> oh, you have made an awe-inspiring mess. Distractions. I'll see what I can do. Entrance to the shrine. it. Yay! Another temple! <sighs> the Kree were not only skilled warriors, you can find great symbolism in much of their architecture. Yeah, yeah, they like pretty things. We get it. Now what, Pete? Mantis? Any pointers? It appears the forge goes there. On the altar.
Seriously? Well, that was anticlimactic. Around. See if you can find anything that looks off. Hmm, I am Groot. Of course anything? something's wrong, because we're in a freaking Creed temple, the where Forge everything is here, always more complicated than it quiet. needs to be. I mean, ain't they ever heard of an on switch? How do you know I'll make the right choice about the Forge? I do not know that. Oh. You are the wielder of the Eternity Forge. It chose you. You must trust there's a reason. Yeah, okay. No pressure at all. So, what now? Repair the statues. Determine the fate of the universe. Oh, is that all? So, uh, are you glad you stayed with Gamora? Yes. I think staying close to my sister is what's best for both of us. I hope so. Because otherwise I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the blame. No matter what I decide about the Eternity Forge, you've got my back, right? I am Groot. Is that a yes? Or a no? I am Groot. How you holding up, buddy? I am Groot. Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up. P could still do the right thing and decide not to destroy the most useful artifact in the universe. to seal the fate of the Eternity Forge. Yes. Your decision will leave you despised by much of the team. Good pep talk. Thanks, Drax. No matter what you choose. Yep, you can stop now. Once we get all these statues working, are you ready for whatever happens next? That depends on you, Pete. You know how much bringing Lila back means to me. And only you can make that happen. I think I see the problem. The alignment is all out of whack. I'll whack it back so we can get on with it. There 
here we go. <laughs> no, you were saying? Hey, Rocket. Tell Groot I need some help with the lens thingy. Okay, okay. I am Groot. Yeah, Groot. Go help Pete destroy this totally awesome thing that could make all our lives better. I am Groot. He says he wants me to be happy, but that this isn't about me. Is that really what he said? One more to go. Something tells me it's not gonna be easy. How's it going, Gamora? In a few minutes, we're gonna have to decide the fate of the Eternity Forge. Not we. You. For whatever reason, this is all in your hands. Look, I know you haven't really sided with me or taken any of my advice lately, but... The Forge is dangerous. You have to make sure no one can use it. Ever. Okay, let's see. This big guy used to stand here, holding up that giant whatever it is thingy. And things go bad. Age sets in. Oh no, I dropped it. Ah. So where did it go? Goes. Now, Celestial One. Oh, come on. Stupid jet boots overheated. Drax, I need your muscles. You cannot have them. They are attached to me. No, I know they... Uh, I need your help. I've got to lift something very heavy. Ah, I see. You are weak. I will help you. I am ready. Hey, Rocket. I need you to grab that lens. Ah, uh, 
getting crushed to death ain't on my list of to-dos, Pete. I'm sure if you just reach really hard, you, you could get it. Maybe dislocated your shoulder or something? I cannot fail. Please, Rocket, I need you. Ah, all right. But I get smushed. You better use that damn forge to bring me back. No destroying it. Uh, thanks. Interesting. Stop. But there is still no statue upon which to set it. I would have gotten the lens, guys. I was just, you know, working up to it. Yep. We just gotta, you know, work together. Oh, you mean like a team? What a novel idea. Yes, teamwork often brings good feelings. Hmm. Perhaps we are doing it wrong then. Okay, listen up. I need everyone over here. Nope, not gonna happen. Just a little higher. My arms can't go any higher. My muscles are soft. Shut up. Guys, stop talking. Like a baby's bottom. Shut up. No! That's my face! Oh, very fat, baby. Sorry. Hey, what do I know about whatever you are, anatomy? Idiots. Maybe your people enjoy having their faces stepped on. Drop this thing! These freaking temples. I'm gonna take dynamite to all of them. Now it is truly time to decide. Turn the forge to the left to destroy it forever. Turn the forge to the right to empower it and bring it to its full potential. Okay. Wait, his right or your right? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. What? what? Let me see. Wow. I can't believe that almost happened. Turn it this way to destroy it. Turn it this... Yeah, we got it. Turn it to the right, Pete. It's left, Peter. You want your left. Peter, you must turn it left. No! It's right to empower you, idiot! Oh, yes. Go right, Peter. I am Groot! Destroying the forge is the only way we can keep it from hurting people. Don't... I'm sorry. But this thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. We gotta destroy it. Thank you, Peter. You don't know anything about me, lady. Perhaps she has never lost a loved one. She has only killed the loved ones of others. Drax! You don't talk like that to my sister. I will talk to Gamora in whatever manner I please, robot. I am Groot. Oh yeah? And what would you know about it? You're a freaking piece of wood! The process has begun. You can release it. I am Groot. You can't even communicate on your own. Think I like translating for you every single I time? I am Groot! Right, now you're gonna start. Drax, back me up. You are all horrible people. No offense, Drax, but wisdom isn't your strong suit either. Guys, we got company! Thank you, Peter Quill. I never could have found this shrine without you. 
and the tracking device genes are placed on your ship. You know, I didn't think you could get more annoying than that time you killed me. <laughs> you really suck. Their usefulness has expired. Dispose of them. about enough of this. God, boots are more busted than I thought. How you like me now, huh? to have made you sad. We should do this more often. Looks like the boys could use some help. This won't be easy. Hope not.
I'm okay. The Eternity Forge is mine. Paula, stop! Baldi, my son, come back to me. Hope you're happy, Quill. You did what needed to be done. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh-oh. You took everything from me. I will destroy you, and all that you love. So now Mantis is tagging along, but she's only creating more questions than answers. About the Eternity Forge, about Hala, about everything. Janitors of the galaxy, that's what we should be called. And Hala and the Kree, well, they're just the latest cosmic spill. As much as he's wrong about almost everything he does, Peter was justified in his actions with the Forge. She agreed with me? I mean, <laughs> of course she did. Can I get a copy of her saying that? It's what happened next that he should regret. 